a land of many tongues, exploring linguistic diversity. Imagine a continent where, instead of a dominant language, a vibrant mosaic of over 1,000 distinct languages painted the landscape of communication. This was the reality of pre-Columbian America, a land teeming with diverse indigenous peoples who each possessed a unique way of expressing themselves. Delving into this linguistic tapestry reveals not just a collection of words, but a window into the rich cultural identities and histories of these societies. A towering babble, the sheer number of languages. The sheer number of languages spoken across the Americas surpasses anything encountered in other parts of the world. Estimates suggest over 1,000 distinct languages existed before European contact, a staggering figure considering Europe, with its long history of interaction, boasts around 280 languages today. This linguistic diversity reflects the vastness of the Americas, the various environments it encompasses, and the long history of human settlement across the continents. From the frozen Arctic tundra to the lush rainforests of the Amazon, each region fostered the development of distinct languages, reflecting the unique experiences and adaptations of its inhabitants. Language families, branches of a shared tree. While 1,000 languages might seem overwhelming at first glance, linguists have identified major language families that group languages with shared ancestry. These families, like branches on a vast linguistic tree, reveal connections between seemingly disparate languages. Some of the most prominent families in North and South America include udo aztecan This extensive family encompasses languages spoken in Central and Northern Mexico, including the well-known Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs. Languages like Shoshone and Hopi, spoken in the Southwestern United States, also belong to this family. Mayan Spoken across Mesoamerica, the Mayan language family includes numerous languages spoken in present-day Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, and El Salvador. Yucatec Maya, spoken in the Yucatan Peninsula, is one of the few surviving Mayan languages with a significant number of speakers. Quechuan, this language family, originating in the Andes Mountains, boasts Quechua as its most prominent member. Quechua was the lingua franca of the vast Inca Empire and continues to be spoken by millions across the Andean region today. Algonquian This widespread family encompasses languages spoken across a vast area of North America, from the eastern woodlands to the Great Plains. Languages like Ojibwe, Cree, and Blackfoot all belong to the Algonquian family. Iroquoian Spoken primarily in the northeastern part of North America, the Iroquoian family includes languages like Mohawk, Seneca, and Oneida. The Iroquois Confederacy, a powerful alliance of tribes, used various Iroquoian languages for communication and diplomacy. Beyond words, language shaping identity. Language isn't merely a tool for communication. It's a cornerstone of cultural identity. The words we use, the way we structure sentences, and even the sounds themselves all carry cultural significance. Indigenous languages of the Americas often incorporated elements of the natural world and belief systems. For instance, some languages had specific vocabulary for different types of corn, reflecting the central role agriculture played in these societies. Additionally, languages might have incorporated elements of the environment, using animal sounds or natural phenomena in word formation. Case studies, unveiling cultural meanings through language. Let's delve deeper and explore how specific languages offer a glimpse into cultural practices. Nahuatl, udo aztecan the Aztecs used Nahuatl to express their complex belief system. Words like Teotl, God, and Tloknawak, Lord of the Near and Surround, point towards their polytheistic worldview. Additionally, the language had elaborate classifiers attached to nouns, indicating the shape, material, or even the edible nature of an object, revealing the Aztecs' intricate classification system for the world around them. Yucatec Maya, Mayan the Mayan languages incorporated a vigesimal system, base, 20, for counting, 
reflecting their sophisticated mathematical understanding. Their hieroglyphic writing system, which combined logographic and syllabic elements, encoded not just words, but also concepts and ideas, revealing a complex way of representing the world. A legacy that endures, the continued importance of linguistic diversity. While European colonization led to the decline of many indigenous languages, thousands of indigenous languages are still spoken today. These languages continue to be a powerful symbol of cultural identity and a gateway to understanding the rich history and traditions of pre-Columbian societies. By studying and preserving these languages, we gain a deeper appreciation for the diverse ways of knowing and experiencing the world that have existed for millennia. Further exploration. We have just scratched the surface of the fascinating world of indigenous American languages. Consider exploring specific language families or individual languages in greater detail. A tapestry of cultures, from art and music to social structures. The vibrant tapestry of pre-Columbian America wasn't just woven with the threads of diverse languages, but also with the rich expressions of art, music, and social structures. Each indigenous society, from the frozen north to the lush rainforests, possessed unique cultural identities that manifested in everything they created and how they organized their lives. By delving into these artistic expressions and social systems, we gain a deeper appreciation for the ingenuity and complexity of these ancient civilizations. Beyond Words Unveiling Cultural Identity Through Art and Music Art and music weren't mere pastimes for indigenous societies, they served as powerful tools for storytelling, expressing beliefs, and transmitting knowledge across generations. Let's explore some of the prominent artistic mediums. Pottery. Across the Americas, pottery transcended its utilitarian function to become a canvas for cultural expression. The Pueblo peoples of the American Southwest adorned their pots with intricate geometric patterns and stylized animal figures, reflecting their reverence for the natural world. In the Andes, Moshe pottery depicted elaborate scenes from mythology and daily life, offering a glimpse into their social structures and religious practices. Textiles. Woven textiles were not just articles of clothing, but powerful symbols of status, wealth, and cultural identity. The Maya created vibrantly colored textiles using backstrap looms, often featuring symbolic imagery related to deities and celestial bodies. In the Amazon rainforest, intricate featherwork adorned clothing and ceremonial objects, showcasing the mastery of indigenous artisans and their deep connection to the avian world. Architecture From the monumental pyramids of Teotihuacan to the cliff dwellings of Mesa Verde, architecture served as a testament to the ingenuity and belief systems of these societies. The Inca, renowned for their stonework, constructed impressive structures like Machu Picchu that blended seamlessly with the mountainous landscape. The massive earthen mounds built by the Mississippian cultures in North America suggest complex social organization and the significance of ritual activities. Music and oral traditions. Music played a central role in rituals, ceremonies, and daily life. Indigenous musical traditions incorporated a variety of instruments, including flutes, drums, rattles, and even seashells. The haunting melodies and rhythmic chants served to invoke spirits, celebrate victories, and narrate stories passed down through generations. Oral traditions, encompassing myths, legends, and historical accounts, were often intertwined with music and dance, ensuring the cultural heritage was transmitted across time. The Fabric of Society, Exploring Social Structures The way indigenous societies were organized reflected their environments, cultural values, and political needs. Here are some of the prevalent social structures. Kinship groups, the most basic unit of social organization for many societies was the kinship group. This typically consisted of families related by blood or marriage, who cooperated in hunting, gathering, and raising children. The Iroquois Confederacy, for instance, was a league of five nations bound by kinship ties, 
demonstrating the importance of family structure in political alliances. Bands. In nomadic societies, like those of the Great Plains, small, mobile bands were the primary social unit. These bands, often consisting of extended families, moved across the landscape following seasonal resources and working together for survival. Leadership was often informal and based on experience and hunting prowess. Tribes. As societies grew larger and more complex, tribes emerged. These groups typically shared a common language, culture, and territory. They might have had a more formalized leadership structure, with chiefs or councils making decisions for the collective good. The Amazon rainforest was home to numerous tribes, each with distinct languages, social structures, and adaptations to their specific environment. Chiefdoms. In some regions, chiefdoms arose, with a powerful hereditary leader ruling over a larger population. These societies often displayed greater social stratification, with elites wielding more authority and access to resources. The Mississippian cultures of North America, known for their elaborate mounds and complex societies, are examples of chiefdoms. Empires the most complex social structure was the empire, exemplified by the Aztec and Inca civilizations. These empires encompassed vast territories, diverse populations, and centralized governments. They often enforced their rule through a combination of military might, religious ideology, and a well-developed bureaucracy. Case Studies A Closer Look at Cultural Expressions to truly understand the richness of cultural expression in pre-Columbian America, let's delve into specific case studies. The Pueblo peoples, these agricultural societies of the Southwest U.S., crafted stunning pottery with geometric patterns and depictions of animals and deities. Their cliff dwellings, built into the sides of mesas, showcased their architectural ingenuity and adaptation to the arid environment. Elaborate kivas, Subterranean structures served as ceremonial centers for religious rituals and social gatherings. The Iroquois Confederacy, this powerful alliance of five Iroquoian-speaking tribes in northeastern North America demonstrated a complex political structure based on kinship and diplomacy. Their social organization centered around longhouses, communal dwellings that housed extended families and served as centers for social life and decision-making. Wampum beadwork, a form of intricate shell beadwork, played a significant role in their ceremonial practices and diplomatic exchanges. The Iroquois Confederacy serves as a testament to the ability of indigenous societies to form complex political alliances and maintained peaceful coexistence. Amazonian societies, these diverse groups, Living in the world's largest rainforest, developed a deep understanding of their environment and sustainable practices for living in harmony with nature. Their social structures were often based on kinship groups and leadership through experience and knowledge. Elaborate body decorations with feathers and intricate pottery reflected their connection to the natural world. Their complex blowguns and hunting techniques showcase their adaptation to the rainforest's dense foliage. Conclusion A tapestry woven with ingenuity and beauty. The artistic expressions and social structures of pre Columbian cultures reveal a tapestry woven with ingenuity, beauty, and deep connections to the environment. From the intricate pottery of the Pueblo peoples to the complex political structures of the Iroquois Confederacy, each society possessed unique characteristics that continue to inspire us today. By studying these diverse cultures, we gain a profound appreciation for the rich tapestry of human experience that flourished in the Americas before European contact. The legacy of these societies lives on in their artistic expressions, social structures, and the enduring spirit of their people.